I am Anish, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how an Amazon Elastic File System volume can be mounted to the application directory of the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance in an AWS Elastic Beanstalk environment. Let's get started. First, let's create an Elastic File System. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon EFS Console. Click on Create File System. Specify the file system name and click on Customize. Leave all the configuration as their defaults and click Next. On the Configure Network Access page, choose the VPC. Let's choose the default VPC. Also, select subnets for mount targets and security group to allow traffic. I am selecting all the subnets and default security group. Leave all the remaining configuration and click Create. The file system creation will take some time. In the meantime, we will create the source bundle. Go to your application source bundle. For this demonstration, I will use a sample PHP application and you can find this example in our public documentation. Navigate to the source bundle. Create a folder named .eb extensions. Navigate to the .eb extensions directory. Create a file with .config extensions. Let's say mount.config. Copy the contents from the EFS mount file system config GitHub link in the associated knowledge center article and paste it in the mount.config file. Go to the Amazon EFS console and copy the EFS ID. Replace the ref colon file system with the EFS ID that you have copied and save this file. Create another .config file. Let's say staging.config. Insert the container commands. You can find an example linked in the associated knowledge center article. Create a zip file of the source bundle and deploy. Use SSH to connect into the instance. Navigate to the slash fire slash app slash current and you will see the EFS volume being mounted. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.